This will be a store tour of Lord & Taylor at the Oak Brook Center in Oak Brook, Illinois, and of Lord & Taylor at the North Brook Court in North Brook, Illinois. Lord & Taylor originally opened at the Oak Brook Center, an upscale mall located in the western suburbs of Chicagoland in 1973. They closed the store in January of 2019. The footage you are seeing is uh, from December of 2018, and this is one of those videos that I like, you know, I drove all the way out here, I filmed it, and then I uh, just kind of sat on it and never bothered to like, edit it for upload. So, here it is. Something I immediately noticed while in here was that there seemed to be like two different aesthetics going on through the store. See, there's this like shiny white flooring in about half of the store, half of the upper floor, and the entire main level has it. And then there's this like stone flooring throughout the entire lower level and half of the upper level. I think what happened was, is they were starting to remodel the store and then they realized, hey wait, our lease is up, why don't we get out of this? We're struggling. And that's what they did. So there's two different aesthetics going on. I'd call it the 90s Lord & Taylor aesthetic and the Lord & Taylor desperately trying to save themselves aesthetic going on here. Throughout the lower level, it basically was turned into a depressing fixture graveyard. I love going through these like fixture sales. It's there's so much random like fun stuff you can find. I really don't get the use for like half of this stuff, but like, it's definitely interesting that one of those tables is, I don't know what you'd use it for. Some umbrellas, you know, I should have looked at the price. Panels of glass, anything you'd want. The most unsettling part of these going to these sales are the naked mannequins that they line up in a row just to disturb people. I hate it. Right now, the mall is trying to subdivide this building up. Right now, they actually have an Abercrombie and Fitch store in part of the lower level of the building, or the main level of the building. Uh, back in January, they were proposing like a mini golf place to take over part of the space somehow, but with COVID and all that stuff going on, who knows if that's gonna actually happen. In normal times, I don't think they would have had any problem filling up this space. Oak Brook Center is one of the top malls in Chicagoland. It goes Woodfield, then Oak Brook Center. So, I don't know what we'll see come into this space with COVID. It, it's gonna sit longer than I think originally like it would have, but I don't think that this space will sit vacant for an extended period of time.
This main level of the store looked amazing. It was completely remodeled, and in my opinion, this was the nicest Lord & Taylor out of their four locations in Chicagoland. They did a really good job with this part of the store that they renovated, and I don't think that this store is closing because it was doing badly. The lease here was ending. Hudson's Bay Company, the then owner of Lord & Taylor, needed to save some money, and I'm willing to bet that the rent here was not cheap, so they decided to just close because it wasn't worth it for them anymore. This store originally opened in 1976 as Lord & Taylor with the mall. It is now in the process of closing in 2020, leaving Northbrook Court, an upscale mall uh, north of Chicago with only one anchor, which is Neiman Marcus. There's also an AMC. This mall lost Macy's last year and is now losing Lord & Taylor due to their bankruptcy. I do not think that this store has gone through a major remodel for a very long time. Look at this beautiful green carpeting everywhere. In fact, I don't think that this store did well at all. There's an article from 2017 that I dug up where the then like vice president of development for GGP, the then mall owner of Northbrook Court, said that this store does not perform very well but it's in a long-term lease. And that's the problem. For a store that is trying to be a luxury department store, this just doesn't really meet the picture. Lord & Taylor was not a cheap store, but they're selling stuff in a space that more resembles a JCPenney or a Carson's than a Lord & Taylor. This store just doesn't like fit in for them. Compared to the stores at Old Orchard and Oak Brook, which closed before this one did, those stores were much nicer and they were much more modern and busier than this store appears to be. I don't, the only reason that this store I think has stayed open this long was because it was in a long term lease. It was no surprise though when this was announced a part of the first round of Lord & Taylor bankruptcy store closures. They wanted out of the space as soon as possible and it was stores like this that I think were dragging them down. Some of their stores like you know like Woodfield or like some of their stores in New York did really well. But then they had stores like Northbrook which clearly were not making money and were a terrible representation of the brand. Typically compared to other department stores, Lord & Taylor has really small home departments within their stores. This is it. This video was filmed about a month into the closing sale process and I would say the store looked almost completely normal. There's one area you'll see that was cleared out for rugs, but other than that, there really was nothing like too special. Or, like there were no holes in the shelves, nothing. 
When they do these going out of business sales, they, what they'll do is they'll bring in extra merchandise to sell just because of the added foot traffic in the store. The liquidator wants to try to sell a little bit more. It was also still in that point where really there were not any good deals to be had. Everything was still at a pretty high full price and it was only marked down like 25% compared to before the closing sale, you might have been able to find stuff for like 50, 60% off, quite common. I did, because I used to shop at Lord & Taylor once in a while, and I could find a really good deal here. There were no good deals to be found here at the liquidation sale. Up ahead is one of the first trademarks of a store closing sale, the Rug Sellers. They basically set up at every single department store closing sale around Chicago now, and they sell rugs at like an advertised 90% off discount. People are really rushing to buy rugs while they're shopping here, and you know what? They, 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 they gotta cater to the demand. So, they were at Sears, they were at Carson's, and now they're in Taylor's house, so, wonderful. This store has a beautiful mall entrance, and it's one of my favorite department store mall entrances, I think, ever. As for the future of the space, I have no idea what could happen. Northbrook Court is trying to redevelop its former Macy's space with restaurants and a food hall and a bunch of entertainment, but with COVID up in the air, it's really like holding those plans aside and it leaves a lot of questions about the future of this Lord & Taylor space. I don't think they were expecting this to happen as soon as it did. They were in a long-term lease, and I'm afraid that this space will sit vacant for a little bit of time. And that is disappointing, to be honest. so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it and hope you enjoyed this double store tour. If you'd like to watch another video, there are two more videos on the screen now. Thank you.